guys it's quantum meet here so today we're going to create a beautiful 3d art so let's get started with the general so I don't need default filters to do it let the light and the camera be here so let's get started by adding mesh plane press S to scale it then press uh, tab or go to the edit mode and uh, others right click and subdivide it maybe around number of chord be 20 times okay then again go back to the object mode then go to this wireframe view and then go to a modifier then go to add modifier then go to generate then go to triangulate so you can see the triangular grid okay just uh, minimize it and then go to another modifier and let's go to decimate modifier then decrease the ratio okay now just minimize it also then go to edge split modifier so that so these uh, edges will be split so turn this to zero degree okay then go to and the modifier called solidify now in the solidify just uh, check its uh, thickness and just uh, increase it upward you can see it now just go to this uh, solid view you can see here nothing so we have to go to thickness clamp and just increase the thickness clamp and you will see the effect what's going on so just just make it nice okay you can see it here our structure is ready now what we need to do okay just uh, you can come anytime here and uh, just play with this later on also so let's go to setting and let's add some uh, SGRI so um, I'm going to add some SGRI background from sgrihaven.com so the link is in the description you can check it out so go to color go to environment texture uh, open then go to SGRI let's select some okay I'm going to choose this one then you can go to this render you can see here so it's completely white now let's uh, add new material new so there is the principal BSTF and we're going to add some shader mm, we're, going to, we're going to add emission shader and we're going to add a mix uh, shader so mix shader we're going to mix the principal shader with this emission shader so these two are mixed so in order to difference uh, them so we will be able to distinguish them if we use something like wireframe so this will give a beautiful effect also so now let's change the color um, to the this uh, black and the uh, metal is around 0 0.3 and roughness around 0 0.6 and um, this uh, this emission maybe around this okay this uh, emission color to be red so you can see the beautiful zoom act already here so there is a light from that side you can see I think we even don't need a light much more okay it's as the lighting is good so just this is the camera press zero for the camera view uh, you can uh, rearrange the camera position if you want okay uh, you can go press N and go to view and lock camera and zoom it little bit in you can do like that also or you can just click on this uh, select this camera or click here and press G to grab and you can just grab it along any direction for a perfect view you can play with it okay now uh, if uh, if you want to see this uh, clear emission effect uh, in the AV render you have to check out the bloom so check also ambient occlusion and screen space reflections okay then go to strength and let's go to and maybe 10 it's too bright and what you can do go to pixel size click on pixel size maybe 2 okay you can control the strength here a bit maybe 5 okay you can see here okay I'm going to press it 6 so this is our 
uh, 3d abstract art it's already here so what you can do is you can add a light from here you can make the area a little bit uh, different tones okay and you can also uh, add uh, some MPT object and you can focus on the particular points so that the uh, blurry effect can be achieved so this is what we got now let's manipulate it a bit more you, know, you can also render with uh, more samples by increasing air okay then go to render and you can render image just wait for it so we are going to render it in the EV So the result is ready you can see it beautifully here you can also render it using the cycles so, but I'll going to give you more tips on it so go to um, add then go to some textures maybe a um, gradient texture and then add some converter um, add converter color ramp so what we're going to do okay okay I'm going to show you completely what what I'm using it okay I'm using a principal BSTF, wireframe modifier, gradient texture to the factor, color to the color of emission shader. Okay, let me show you so you can see it. So, this is the setting I'm using here. So, I'm going to change the color. Okay, let me show you how I change this. So, you can see here it's completely white. Now, I have to little bit manipulate here. So, add some this color let's add some red okay let's add some blue um, add some maybe um yellow um add some maybe green okay you can see it here so okay linear also go as as we will be a little bit brighter you can control it here like this okay and you can control the emission strength here there's the gradient texture you can add more texture for more control like uh, Bernoulli texture you can play with them okay this is your abstract 3d art it's ready now thank you for watching if you like this video please give the thumbs up and if you want more video like this please subscribe thank you for watching see you and in the end i'll show you some of the renders i've done with this type of arts thank you